Welcome to this introduction to the integration perspective in Talon Studio. In this presentation, we'll explore this specific perspective and go over its most commonly used functionality. In Talon Studio, a perspective refers to an arranged collection of views and editors specific to a particular set of tasks. Several perspectives exist to support the entire suite of Talon Data Fabric technologies. Some commonly used perspectives include the profiling perspective for profiling and cleansing data, the debug perspective for inspecting the job execution state, the mapping perspective for developing complex data transformations using Talon Data Mapper, and the integration perspective for building standard data integration and big data jobs. This is the one we'll talk about today. We just started Studio for the first time. It's currently displaying the MDM perspective used for managing metadata, so let's switch it. There are a couple of ways to switch perspectives in Studio. The toolbar located at the top right corner of the Studio window and the Perspective submenu under the Window menu. Let's switch to the Integration Perspective now. Here's the default Integration Perspective, with a simple but incomplete data integration job started. This perspective is laid out as follows. On the left-hand side is the Repository. This highly used hierarchical view allows you to access your jobs and the reusable information about files, databases, and other elements that you use in your jobs. Below that is a tabbed view consisting of the outline and code viewer. The outline provides a tree view of the elements contained in the job you have open, while the code viewer displays the generated code associated with the selected component. The designer is the main canvas for developing your jobs. Here's where you create, connect, and configure components. To the right of the designer is the palette. Here you can browse and select from a categorical hierarchy of available components. In this example, we're placing a tfile input delimited component to extract data from a formatted text file. Alternatively, we could search the list of components using the search field. In this example, we're searching for TDB input, a polymorphic component that extracts data from a database table. Below the designer is a collection of other widely used views. Here are the ones you'll interact with most frequently. The job view contains information about the current job. The context view allows you to define contexts and variables. A context is a container for variables that allows you to quickly redefine the values for an entire set of variables. You can use variables in your jobs to avoid hard coding values like file or database names. Here, we're defining two new contexts named dev and prod. Then, we define a variable called filename to be used by our job instead of a hard-coded filename. Finally, we define values for this variable within each context. The component view allows you to configure the parameters of the selected component. Here, we're configuring this tfile input delimited component to read from a file determined by the filename variable that we defined earlier. The Run view enables you to run your jobs within Studio. With a complete job in place, let's try running it. Notice that we can select which context to run the job in, which ultimately dictates the settings for any variables we have defined. Click Run. The job will be saved, compiled, and run. Notice the job output appears here as well. The remaining views are used for more specific advanced tasks. Remember that perspectives only represent a default layout. You can customize them to suit your needs. You can move things around, resize elements, 
move or remove views you don't use, and incorporate additional views as needed. Don't be afraid to mess it up. You can always access the Reset Perspective option from the window menu. In this presentation, we looked at Talent Studio's integration perspective and reviewed the commonly used functionality available there. For more information about Talent Studio and data integration, please check out the other presentations in this series. Thanks for watching.